My antique world don't. My antique world don't. My antique world don't want none unless you got Barbuda, son. Yeah, my first pop culture reference. I promise I'll never do that again. It's time to learn geography. No! Hey everybody, I'm your host Paul Barbato. Today we're gonna do Antigua and Barbuda. I'm a little excited because this country's a little bit easier, but first, you know the drill, let's dissect the flag. The flag of Antigua and Barbuda is actually pretty cool. It was created in 1967 by Sir Reginald Samuel. The flag has a sun with a blue and white horizon covered by two red tapered triangles on the side. The sun representing the dawning of a new era, the black representing the black African ancestry of the people, the blue representing hope and the sea, and the white representing the sand. The red on the sides are cut down into a V-shape to represent victory, and the red representing the vibrancy and the energy of the people. Now let's talk about where Antigua and Barbuda are located. Antigua and Barbuda are located in the Caribbean Sea in the North American continent on the Western Hemisphere. The cool thing about Antigua and Barbuda's location is that even though it's located thousands of kilometers away from mainland Europe, technically you can still fly to France, England, and the Netherlands within a 30 to an hour minute flight. That's because with the exception of St. Kitts and Nevis, all of Antigua and Barbuda's immediate neighbor nations and islands are overseas territories that still belong to the respective European mother nations. That means that technically you can go to Europe without ever crossing the Atlantic. Islands such as St. Eustatius and Saba for the Netherlands, and Montserrat and Gila for the UK, and Guadeloupe for France, and St. Martin, which is technically owned by both the Netherlands and France. That one little crazy island has such a crazy backstory, but we'll cover that in another video. That's not a surprise though. For most of the five centuries of its past history, most of the islands in the Caribbean were occupied by European powers, including Antigua and Barbuda, who have been under mostly British rule for the majority of their recent history. That is until 1981 when they gained their independence. The country has two main islands, of course, Antigua, the main island in the south, and Barbuda, the relaxing getaway island which is in the shape of a pig in the north. The capital is St. John's, located on Antigua. Antigua is divided into six small parishes, and Redondo Island was nabbed by Antigua and Barbuda as it lies right in between St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Also, going to Barbuda is going to be a little bit trickier. All travelers will have to enter into Antigua first and then either charter a flight and take a ferry to Barbuda. Now that we know the location, let's talk about what the land actually looks like. The islands are mostly low-lying islands, the highest point being on Antigua, a volcanic crater named Mount Obama. That's right, in 2009, they named their highest point Mount Obama, even though prior to 2009, Obama had never been to that island, and as of 2014, he has yet to have gone to Antigua. Nonetheless, they named their highest point Mount Obama. Now, both of the islands have lots of beautiful coral reefs and natural lagoons, which have an abundance of aquatic wildlife, one of the most famous spots being Stingray City on Antigua. However, the problem is that both of the islands don't really have many natural freshwater resources. They have a few creeks, however, most of their freshwater is stored up in small ponds, or reservoirs. Luckily, the islands get plenty of rainwater and their desalinization plants provide them with fresh water as well. Previously, the islands used to have a lot of fig trees. However, over the years, especially during British colonization, the islands were used for sugarcane plantations. Now major crops include saw island cotton, locust fruit, and the famous Antiguan black pineapple. The thing is though, about 30% of the land is arable, but only about 18% of the land is used for farming and agriculture. The reason why is because most of the people in Antigua and Barbuda don't really care too much to go into the agriculture sector, and they like to go into the tourism sector because it pays more money. Most major crops are actually grown on family plots and sold at local markets. Fishing actually takes up a huge part of the economic industry, as well as the typical Antigua and Barbuda diet. Now, of course, like you would expect, Antigua and Barbuda have beautiful, pristine, white, sandy beaches and lagoons and caves, as well as an amazing bird sanctuary on Barbuda. Antigua actually has about 30 small islets, mostly privately owned by rich families or private clubs, including the Mills Reef Club, which owns all of Green Island. Speaking of rich people, let's talk about the demographics. Now, Antigua and Barbuda has about 86,000 people. About 91% of them are black, 4% are mixed, 2% are white, and 3% are other. Antiguans and Barbudans have a distinct culture that slightly differentiates them from the other Caribbean nations. The majority of the population, like other Caribbean islands, has a black majority that are descendants of former slaves used for plantation work during the British rule. Prior to the African and European inhabitants, however, Antigua and Barbuda were inhabited by the Sibone and the Arawaks and the Caribs. It wasn't until Christopher Columbus passed by in the 15th century and named one of the islands 
Santa Maria la Antigua, or Saint Maria the Ancient, and Barbuda, which means the bearded, which could possibly be reference to the bearded tribesmen that Columbus witnessed as he passed through the islands. Finally, in 1632, the British were the first people to successfully colonize the islands, and today the Amerindian population is actually pretty small. There's only a few hundred left. However, it's very possible that many people have Amerindian heritage passed down on their line of ancestry on the islands. As a former British colony, of course English is the official language. However, they speak with a distinct Antiguan and Barbudan dialect. Many of the words are abbreviated and slightly changed based off of the words that they derive from. For example, I will make we go in there. Ta, men I think you're being serious. The vast majority of people live on the island of Antigua with only about 2,000 people living on Barbuda. What Barbuda lacks in people though, it definitely makes up in tourism as every single day, tons and tons of people flock to that area to check out some of the most amazing beaches and tourism sites that it offers. So that's what the people look like in Antigua and Barbuda. Now let's talk about the people that they get along with in the friend zone. Now when it comes to friends, Antigua and Barbuda pretty much get along with everybody. They don't have any international disputes. However, the countries that stick out the most are probably going to be the US and the UK and Venezuela. The US and UK because they have the largest economic holding on Antigua and Barbuda and Venezuela because they are a huge business partner. As a member of CARICOM or the Caribbean community, Antigua and Barbuda pretty much gets along with all the other nations of the Caribbean, and especially, most distinctively, the ones that speak English, like Jamaica, Barbados, Grenada, Dominica. However, in terms of their best friend, Antigua and Barbuda might probably consider St. Kitts and Nevis their best friend, considering the fact that they are like the four brothers that have gone through all of the British colonization period together, stuck by each other, and they just get along really well. Plus, there's only about 40 nautical miles between them. They do like to compete a lot with each other, though. In conclusion, Antigua and Barbuda are two powerhouse House Islands voted as the best place to have a wedding in 2014. It's no surprise that Antigua and Barbuda are the gems that stand out in the Caribbean. Stay tuned peeps, Armenia is coming up next. Hey peeps, thanks a lot for your support on my channel. Just a few side notes, I accidentally said Armenia, I meant Argentina. Argentina is the next video. And also, yes, I am fully aware that many people pronounce it Antigua, not Antigua. If you'd like to subscribe, click on this box that I am in right now. Have a good one, stay cool, stay tuned.